Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on another video. I hope you guys have been having a great week. Today we're going to do my weekly check-in for the second week of March. Uh, we're also going to close out our paycheck budget for the second week of March. So not too many expenses this week, about a half a page. So let's go ahead and go through them. The first one we have is Brian's income. It was $13.50, which is a little more than I expected, but we weren't able to save it because it got ate up by something else in the budget, which you'll see shortly. <laughs> ah, here it is. Shoes for Bryson and Caleb. So my um, nine-year-old had a hole in each one of his shoes. So I was like, okay, I guess I'll get you a pair of shoes, you know? But um, <laughs> then my eight-year-old was like my shoes are too small I was like come on be like seriously but they coerced me into going ahead and getting him a pair too so we went to what is it Ross and got two pairs of shoes for $55 and 63 cents all right so the next thing we have is gas for my truck it was 7318 I don't know about y'all. I'm sure you guys are noticing too that the gas is going up, up, up. Every time I turn around, the gas is more than it was the last time I got gas. So it is what it is. We have to have it. So um, $6 for challenge the budget. I took that from the cars category because um, we budgeted $80 for gas and I only used $73.18. My Bank of America credit card, we paid the minimum payment of $136. On our Vice Star credit card, we paid the minimum payment of two thirty. Carter's tuition came out for four thirty five. Instant Eat came out for two sixty five. I did go over my pages, and it's an extra dollar for every ten pages you go over. So um, I know my plan went up from like a dollar to a dollar fifty. So I imagine a dollar sixty or so of this is my regular. Um, charge and then the dollar um, the dollar or the dollar five cents is from the uh, pages that I went over so hopefully it won't be this expensive next month I had a lot of printing with Caleb's museum project and printing stuff for our taxes so um, yeah 265 for instant ink we got groceries from Walmart this week for 113.31 we got some groceries from Publix also for $60.78. And then we went back to Walmart and got some more groceries for $55.49. Um, I used to get our dog food from Walmart too. I was getting a 35 pound bag for $35. But then I said to myself, self and self said, yeah, why don't we just try and get dog food from Tractor Supply? Because it's a place that is for feeding livestock like I'm sure they have a bigger bag of dog food you know we'll see how much it is see what it what it's looking like so I went on their website and lo and behold they have a 50 pound bag of dog food for $29.99 <laughs> so we're getting 15 pounds more of food for five dollars less than we were getting it at Walmart so I did get them like a high protein blend of the retriever brand it was really comparable to what we already had. So, um, yeah, we're doing that now. They seem to enjoy it. I started mixing it with their old dog food and they're gobbling it up. So, um, yeah, we're saving money by getting a bigger bag of dog food from Tractor Supply. So I got dog food and chicken food at Tractor Supply for $45.58. Um, we went to mcdonald's on sunday after church i was weak you guys so weak like i know i wasn't supposed to eat out this week but um we went to church and then we went to tractor supply we went to walmart we went to Publix. like we did so much running around in the afternoon and i was hungry so <laughs> i stopped at mcdonald's and got us something to eat it was really cheap for the four of us so it's not bad for eating out at mcdonald's um and I actually, I paid off our Chase Disney card this week also. Woo -woo! So we no longer owe Chase Disney. We have officially paid off our first credit card. And I'm super excited about it. Um, so that was $300.14. Last but not least, my boys got their allowance for the week, which is $14. And that came out of the kids category. 
Um, so only about a half a page of expenses, which is good because we have five weeks this month and I need room to continue to write because there's only four of these transaction trackers in this book. So we'll just start week three right here so that we don't run out of room. So let's go ahead and flip to the paycheck budget. As you guys saw, there was no additional income this week. I didn't sell the popcorn machine. I actually have the little handle I bought right here. It did not fit um, our popcorn machine. Our popcorn machine has like, I'm not even sure what you call it, but like the, the spiral on it where you're supposed to screw something in. And this just kind of like goes into the hole without, you know, screwing on. So this didn't fit our popcorn machine. I did request a refund. Well, I requested to return it and they said that I could just keep it. So I don't know what I'm going to use it for, but I did get my money back for said popcorn holder. I mean, handle. So I think I'm just going to throw the popcorn machine away because I don't know what else to do with it at this point. Um, I also didn't get my items sent into the clutter and... Um, you know, process and all that in time for this check-in. So I have sent them, um, but I'm still waiting on them to check them in and to look them over and to send me the money for them. So no additional income this week aside from the extra $50 that Brian brought in. So $13.50 plus our rollover of $562.85. So our total income was $1,900. $12.85. And our light bill didn't come out yet. It'll probably come out tomorrow. Our internet hasn't come out yet. Same thing. Netflix hasn't come out yet. Um, Instant Ink is $2.65. Daycare was $4.35. Vistar was $2.30. Bank of America is one thirty six, and Chase Disney was three hundred dollars and fourteen cent. So let me add all that up. I have a sick four year old here. You know, you guys hear him coughing in the background. He didn't go to school today. Okay, so that's one thousand one hundred and three dollars and seventy nine cent. Subtract that from our income of nineteen twelve eighty five, and that leaves eight oh nine oh six. All right, so we did really good for groceries this week. We actually spent two twenty nine fifty eight, and I was very tempted to take some of our um, leftover money and put it towards saving. But I feel like groceries is one of those things that I can't take money from. Like, you never know, like, what you're going to need the next week. Like, I didn't need a bunch of stuff this week, but I might need paper towels and toilet paper next week. And that's going to make my grocery budget higher. So, I tend to not want to take money from the grocery budget. It is almost $30. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm just going to wait until the end of the month and see what is left over because I'm afraid to pull it out and then we need it <laughs> for cars. Um, only I got gas and it was 73.18 for kids. They did get $14 for their allowance for pets. It was more cause the chickens went through that feed so fast. Well, we used to have, um, we used to buy two bags of feed chick, chick feed and egg layer feed, but now all the chickens are laying eggs. So we only need to buy one bag of feed um, for all of the chickens, but, um, you know, it seemed like it lasted a long time when we had two different bags of food because half the chickens were getting one thing and the other half were getting the other thing. Now they're all eating the same thing and one bag fills up both of their containers completely. So I'll probably have to buy, you know, the same kind of food more often. Maybe next time I'll buy two bags and put one in the garage. Um, cause the one bag didn't last very long. I think it lasted like three weeks for the one bag that Brian bought at the end of November. I mean, February, not November, the end of February. For kids, we spent $55.63 on 
couple pairs of shoes. So let me add this up. 229, 58, 73, 18, 14, 45, 58, 55, 63. That's 417.97. And take that from our remainder. It's 39109. which doesn't match my spreadsheet. Oh, I hate when the math ain't mathing, y'all. Oh, eating out. Because we didn't, we weren't supposed to eat out, so I didn't have it on here. I added clothes, so I wouldn't forget, but I forgot to add eating out. 17.49. Okay, break out the white out. My kids are doing a good job of staying out of the whiteout. Well, not the kids, it's Carter. Carter used to always mess with my whiteout, which is why I stopped buying it. The big boys always mess with my ruler. They need it for their crafts, their paper crafts. Last night, Bryson made a parachute. He used the, like, the cap of a milk bottle, milk carton, and paper and tape and made a parachute like they they love to watch videos on youtube about how to make all kinds of paper crafts they've made boats swords nunchucks butterfly knives um parachutes paper airplanes uh, fortune tellers like you name it they're making it and it's so cool i love it it's so fun for them to, <laughs> i'm glad they're enjoying it like we don't allow them to play on the playstation anymore even though we have one um so they use their imagination a lot more now than they used to so uh, the best thing we ever did was take away the playstation <laughs> okay so let's re-add this up 229 58 73 18 14 45 58 55 63 and 17 is 435.46. And now subtract that from 80906. That leaves 373.60, which still isn't right. Y'all, I'm sorry. It's a hot mess today. Let me see. My spreadsheet says 367. 60. Why do I keep doing that? 367.60. Oh, okay. That's fine. That goes over here. 373.60. And then we put $6 towards saving that I um, got from the grocery, I mean, the, the gas category. So. 373 minus 6 is 367.60 60 is what we're rolling over to the third week of March. And that leaves zero. All right, guys. So that is all for this weekly check-in and paycheck budget closeout. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.